Hi, this is Paul Roger uh, from Mozilla. Today I would like to show you uh, what I've been playing with lately. Uh, so I have, I've wrote a little Jetpack, a Firefox extension, that implements a part of the menu HTML5 specification. So the purpose of this is to bring some uh, web, uh, some controls from web page to Firefox, to the browser itself. So, sounds tricky? Let me show you. So, I wrote a little um, test page to show you. So, this is a simple, you know, HTML, HTML5 page. Uh, what's interesting here is, first, uh, the source code. So, uh, look at this. The div here, the square you see here, um, include an attribute name, uh, context menu. And referencing a super menu element, uh, you go there, you see this, this super menu element. It's uh, a menu tag, uh, type context, and inside you see uh, a comment, a set of comments. Uh, so, for example, this one has uh, a label named rotate, uh, a callback, function rotate, and an icon, right? So, it's, it does what you expect it to do, right? Like right click and you see um, this menu inside the context menu of the web page. So here I pushed the HTML content inside the context menu. So I click rotate and you have the rotation, right? Resize, resize. Uh, it's just some uh, CSS stuff. Uh, you have some menu support. Um, also, if uh, you look closely, you can see something interesting as well here is that we have another menu name, I mean with a, a menu uh, application menu, type application. This is not part of the specification yet, uh, and yeah, whatever. Uh, and inside you have a, another comment with a label and a callback. And you can see this menu there, up here, see? Interesting, right? Uh, also, um, in HTML, in the specification, there's a menu type toolbar, and I was thinking about um, replacing this toolbar, you know, I mean, the native toolbar with the menu type toolbar, but yeah, I think it's not the right way to do it. Uh, I think we have enough HTML to do this uh, without the menu element, but still, you know, I think it's good to be able to get rid of this. So if you look at the HTML here, I have this attribute. Uh, it's just a test, okay? Don't say it's gonna be this attribute or whatever. It's, again, it's just an experiment. And disable native toolbar, uh, what does it mean? It means that if this web page goes to an app tab, then you don't have the toolbar anymore, right? Interesting. Um, okay, sounds great. Uh, now, look at this. Um, so I did some hacks uh, on Twitter.com from um, uh, with Chris Monkey, and what you can see here is first you have a, a native uh, native uh, context menu. Like I can just have a new tweet like here, right? I can show the URL shortener like here. Uh, also, you have this menu here, right? And of course, if I do this, the, the toolbar, the native toolbar disappear. It's not well integrated, I think. It doesn't look really good, but still, it's a good first step, I think. Uh, and if you're looking at, if, I mean, if you are in another web page and you do like Twitter.com and you tweet, automatically you, ha automatically you have the focus and you can write your tweet. Um, so I think that's all. Thank you.